Okay, so in this question, a ball is thrown from the point X and follows the path X, Y, Z. Air resistance is negligible. As I have told you again and again in these kind of questions, always be very particular about air resistances. Generally, they are always negligible, but many times it is given that they are not negligible. So which quantity is zero when the ball reaches the highest point Y? So which quantity is zero? Fine. Let us go for the option number one. The horizontal component of the ball's acceleration. Okay. So this is the correct answer I know. But okay. Wait a moment. Wait a minute. Let us go for B, C, D. B. The vertical component of ball's acceleration. Look. Now this can never be equal to zero because the vertical component is the gravity itself. So gravity cannot be zero. So the vertical component will always act. The weight will always act. Wherever it is, the weight will always act. Now, C. So, B is wrong. The horizontal component of ball's velocity. <coughs> well, the horizontal component can never be zero. Because if the horizontal component is zero, the ball will stop moving ahead. <coughs> so, this is never zero. And it is always constant. I am writing here. The velocity along the x-axis is always constant. And it is like never zero. Obviously, when it stops at the point Z, it, the ball starts touching the ground. At that time, it's a separate case. But otherwise, horizontal velocity at each and every point is the same. Now, D, the kinetic energy of the ball. <clears throat> Obviously, when the horizontal velocity is not zero, how can the kinetic energy be zero? So this is also wrong. Now, Option A, the horizontal component of ball's acceleration. So from the initial point only, we know that in such kind of oblique projectiles, what we know is there is only one acceleration. The force is acting only and only in the vertical direction. By the definition of projectile motion, what is the definition of a projectile? It is when the body is thrown at some angle, it is given some initial velocity and later on, only and only weight is acting on the body. There is no other force that is acting on a body. At that time, we call it a projectile motion. So it is the definition itself that there is no horizontal force. If there is no horizontal force, there cannot be any horizontal acceleration. And that is why the horizontal velocity is always constant because there is no acceleration. So from all of the point of views, we reach the same conclusion that option A is the right answer. I think I have explained it very well. Let us now verify the answer in the mark scheme. Yes, the answer is A. So we are absolutely correct. So with this, all the best. Bye.